In this video we're going to approximate the exponential function using the Cordic algorithm. Now, it's very similar to the previous example that we just looked at whenever we approximated our sine and cosine. The only difference is that the value for y0 now is going to be a value 1 upon an, which is our gain factor, which is 1.20749 for the hyperbolic mode. Now, whenever we work through this, we're going to get at the output, the value for our xn is the function e to the x, and yn will be the e to the x. And the value for our z will have tended towards zero because we are working in the rotation mode. So this is just the same as in the previous video when we looked at the hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine. The only difference is this factor here. So let's go ahead and we'll have a look at this in the graphical calculator. So this is our function e to the x here. Now remember the number e is approximately equal to 2.718. Now the example we're going to use is using the value 0.5. So e to the 0.5 should give us a value 1.649. So this is the value we want to go and generate. Now we're going to be using our hyperbolic in rotation mode. And the initial values for our x0 and y0 are 1.20749. So I'll go ahead and put those in just now. So this is the initialization, and the value for our z0 is the value that we are trying to work out. So we said that in this example we're going to use the value 0.5. So 0 0.5 is in radians, so what we'll do is we'll convert it to degrees. So if we multiply 0.5 by 180 upon pi, we get 28.647 degrees. So you can see here that I've actually already worked through this example here. So we start off with our value for our Z0 is 28.648 degrees. So that's this value here. So I'll put that value into the simulation. So you can see here, we've got our angle round here in the blue line. So that's our uh, initialization angle, which is the value of 0 0.5 in radians, but in degrees is 28.648. And you can see here, I've left the value here in brown, and this is the uh, equivalent hyperbolic value. Now what we're going to do is use the rotation mode, so we want wanting the angle here to tend towards zero. So we're going to have to add and subtract the values for our hyperbolic mode in order to get a value of zero. And you can see here I've already worked through this example. So we'll go ahead and we'll add and subtract these values on. So this is our initialization angle. And when we subtract off this, and then we add on this one, subtract on, add, and so on and so forth. And when we do this, you see that the value z will tend towards the value 0, which is what we want from the simulation. So I will go ahead and subtract and add those off. So you can see that the first one here has been subtracted off. So it means that we're going to add on to this value here. So we're going to be adding on the 26.565. Now you can see the next one has been uh, added on. So now we're going to subtract off the next value. So we're subtracting off the 14.036. And you can see the next one we're subtracting off the 7.2. So we're going to be adding on the value 7.125. Now I will continue doing this until we get to the final result. So 
So you can see the final value we end up here is 1.6486 for both the X and the Y. And this is the value E to the 0.5 or an approximation to it. The actual value is 1.6487. So we're very close. Let's go ahead and we will map these out in the graphical calculator. So there you can see our approximate value and the actual value plotted out here. And you can see that the one below is our approximation, which is 1.6486. The actual is 1.6487. So this is us able to approximate the exponential function. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.